SquidCheck offers print and verification of the barcodes printed on your cases, trays, pipe, or other products. Utilizing barcode readers from Cognex, the world's most trusted machine vision and industrial barcode reading company, the reader is integrated with a Squid ink printer and Squid Check interface to ensure that codes are present, scannable, and accurate. Squid Check allows users to automatically take control of their packaging line. Once a code is printed, the reader reads the code while Squid Check communicates with the printer to confirm that this is the correct code to be printed. Code failures are identified and rejected as desired, while Squid Check safeguards that only correct and properly coded products advance to the next stage of the production line. The Squid Check Barcode Validation System consists of a Squid Check interface box, Cognex Barcode Reader, USB Alert Light, Multiple Port USB Hub, Cables, and Mounting Hardware. The validation system is designed to read printed barcodes and confirm their correctness. Assuming a left moving conveyor, the components are installed in the following order Photo Cell to sense the box as it passes and trigger the printhead to print. Printhead. Camera to scan the barcode as it passes, with caution to prevent printhead overspray from reaching the camera. The closer the printhead is to the camera, the better. Alarm light. Placed anywhere within cord range so that it may be easily seen by the operator. Squid Check Interface Box typically mounted on the same bracket as the alarm light. Encoder, typically installed as close to the printhead as possible. Once the components are installed properly, it is time to set up the system. At the printing system controller on the main screen, press the Settings button. Next, select the Barcode Reader button. This opens the barcode validation screen. Turn on barcode validation by selecting the On button. Press Apply to confirm. Next, select the IP address tab to connect the camera. At the IP address tab, select the Search button to locate the camera. A list of all of the cameras connected to the network will appear. Select the desired camera and press the Apply button. A green check mark is displayed in the lower right hand corner to confirm your selection. After barcode validation has been turned on, return to the IP address tab. To verify that the camera is connected, select the ping test button. If the camera is connected, an audible beep sounds and a green check mark appears. To align the camera, Position the product to be scanned in front of the camera. There will be two green square alignment lights emitting from the camera. The camera should be aligned so the squares are located in the center of the barcode, height-wise. Next, run the conveyor. When the product triggers the photo cell, the camera will start flashing in anticipation of the barcode. The red light box indicates the area being scanned and should be approximately 50 to 75 percent larger than the barcode. The red light is the field of view in which the camera is looking for the barcode. When the barcode is printed and the product passes in front of the camera, the camera scans the barcode and emits an audible beep if the barcode is good. The camera can run in two modes, trained or untrained. In untrained mode, the camera will ready any barcode. When it is in trained mode, the camera will run faster since it only reads barcodes for which it was trained. To train the camera for a specific barcode symbology, stop the barcode that the camera is to be trained for in front of the camera, making sure the red light box is 50 to 75 percent larger than the barcode itself. On the camera, Press and hold the Tune button for approximately 5 seconds, or until it starts flashing lights. The camera is recording a variety of illumination levels to determine optimization, focus, exposure, 
and contrast. When the setup routine is finished, the camera is trained on that specific barcode symbology only. You can determine if the camera is in trained or untrained mode by selecting the on-off tab, then choosing the green button for barcode validation. If the camera has been trained, the specific barcode symbology will be listed in the trained barcode window. Specific settings that relate to your application can be set up under the settings tab. For example, the user will want to put the scanner in box mode if each box is printed and scanned before the next box is printed. Box mode allows one photocell trigger per barcode scan. If the camera is further downstream and multiple photocell triggers occur before the box is scanned, the user will use queued mode. In queued mode, the controller keeps track of the boxes in between triggers and scans. To trigger the camera, the barcode must be selected for validation. Select the barcode you would like to validate. Then select Squid Check after printing. A red camera icon will be tagged to the barcode in your message, signifying that this is the barcode to be validated. An output signal is sent when a barcode read failure occurs. The signal can be used to trigger a drop conveyor, reject station, or other device to remove the bad code from the supply chain. In this example, the output signal triggers an alarm light. A green light indicates a good read. A yellow light indicates no read. And a red light indicates a bad read. Select the Output tab to specify the delays and duration of the output signals in relation to your specific application. The Squid Check system gathers valuable data on reader and printer performance and automatically catalogs each code. By analyzing data trends, users can identify issues due to poor printer setup or maintenance and help improve their overall coding performance. To gather data, go to the IP address tab and press the green on button for reporting. Press the apply button to confirm. An error log records no reads and bad reads on the Copilot controller. To view, click the red log button on the controller sidebar. Use the scroll buttons to scroll up and down the error log. The latest error is on the bottom. The red trash can button on the sidebar will clear the error log. To capture data on every squid check read, connect a USB drive into the USB hub or directly into the Copilot controller. Select the green USB Drive button when it appears on the controller sidebar screen. This creates a login and a Squid Ink folder on the USB drive. When finished recording the log, select the red USB Eject button and remove the USB drive from the hub or controller. To access the data, insert the USB drive into a PC. Open a blank workbook in Excel, choose the Data tab, and then select Get External Data from Text. Making sure the All Files button is selected, find the file on the USB drive. Choose the Import button. The text wizard opens. Select the delimited file type. Next, select Comma as the delimiter. This will make each comma in the data a column. Choose Next. Select General for the data format. Then, select Finish. Choose a new worksheet and then select OK. The data will appear sorted in columns. Data includes the date and time of each scan, the printer name, data printed, data scanned, result of the scan, and the symbology of the scanned code. Add headers to the columns if desired. The data may be sorted or manipulated as needed. Move your production facility towards zero code errors and end-to-end -end traceability of your products. SquidCheck helps facilitate better packaging line efficiency, 
less waste due to rework, and can prevent fines or compliance issues with your distribution or retail partners. Squid Check is another example of how Squid Ink can help you deliver your products to the world.